Okay, today I'm going to be checking the flatness of the Solid Doodle 3 build platform. Now, I have not yet leveled it, so these readings might be quite off. Uh, and as I mentioned before in a blog post, there's an issue because without the any wing nuts on the bottom, it's going to be hard to adjust the build platform since the heads are underneath the polyamide tape. Nonetheless, I have attached a dowel indicator, and the indicator is about three centimeters in front of the print head, so I'm not going to be able to reach the back of the, the far back of the build platform for readings. However, I'll try to go as far back as possible. So I'm going to lower the print bed 10 millimeters until it starts reading. And at least for the center, I'm reading about 94. And that's in thousandths of an inch. I'll try to stick within about a centimeter of each corner, give or take. And so in the front right, I'm reading 65. Front left, 56. Back left, 94 and a half. And back right, 94 and a half. So currently my build platform is level from left to right in the back, but off 11 thousandths in the front. And going from back to front, I'm off about 40 thousandths. So I'm going to make some adjustments and try to get it a little more level, and then we'll see how flat it is. And so I'm reading 61 in the back left, 57 in the back right, 60 in the front right, and 61 in the front left. In effect, I'm saying that the back right is a little bit low, but I can't adjust the three screws to get that any closer. Now when I go back to the center, I'm reading 70. So that's suggesting that build platform is convex at the rate of about nine thousandths of an inch. So that's about 0.2 millimeters. And so that's fairly significant, but we'll see how well it prints. So now I'll remove the dowel indicator and come back and uh, try to test print. The question is that for the flat disc measurements, I did have the print bed warmed up to 90 Celsius. So I've installed the solid doodle a version of Repetier with all of its settings. I added a uh, sample object. I've uh, gone to Slicer and I've loaded up the settings for uh, the Solid Doodle 0.3 millimeter settings, uh, the Solid Doodle 3 printer settings, and the Solid Doodle ABS 1.75 millimeter parameters. That is all the ones that came with this version of. Repetier. I've gone ahead and sliced the object and I'm going to begin printing. Now I should say that I did do one test print off camera. The plastic wasn't sticking at all and by the shape of it I didn't think it was set up to uh, the right Z level since I had adjusted the print bed. So I had made those uh, adjustments and I'm now printing uh, the one print job. It started off with an outline, a skirt, and it's now doing the letters. It looks like it's doing Three 
shells total. Yes, three shells. Now it's beginning to fill in. I'd say there's a little bit of puffiness of the plastic, so it's quite possible that I'm going to have to adjust uh, the filament diameter or the uh, extrusion multiplier that's in the slicer. Nonetheless, it's printing really well for a first printing attempt. As I said, I haven't done any fine tuning yet. Okay, the print job is finished. Piece snaps off pretty well. The bottom five or six layers are a little bit thicker than the others. That's a little bit odd to me. But nonetheless, it did a pretty good job for the very first printing. I'll definitely have to follow up with fine tuning. Uh, the surface looks a little bit bloated, filament setting, extrusion multiplier, all those things uh, might be edited. Anyhow, thanks and uh, have a great day.